Hello fellow beings of Middle Earth and welcome to the 6th episode of the Isengard campaign. We have just saved Django from his life. It was very even. These guys actually decided to run. So we were very, very lucky. Um, if you remember, we met like 456 to 9. Uh, and we only had Django on his own. And the Dundan Rangers were able to pop a lot of arrows into our works. So initially it went very badly, and I thought it was over for our most beloved general, but he did indeed survive. Let's just hope not that not another army attacks him now, because that would be disaster. We definitely want, uh, like cavalry bodyguards, are basically the best bodyguards you're going to get in this game. So the Witch King is basically our... Um, a new and best general, in my opinion. Now, let's take a look at the battle map and see what we can prepare for today. It would be very nice to bring down the Northern Dundang once and for all, but uh, we'll have to see about it. Now, these uh, diplomats keep bugging me off. Osul, I definitely want to hold. We paid so dearly for that place. Trade rise, yeah, sure. We cannot. Well, that seemed fruitful. Farewell. Now I have been thinking, and I might want to attack and backstab Gundabad, just because um, the Witch King has returned, a new um, a new era has begun, and the men of Rudar shall rule this land. Durix is a nice ally, of course. But uh, I really, I think the Witch King wants Mount Gundabad for himself. Even though they are the servants of Sauron, um, we definitely want them in, under our realm. I think I'm going to adopt the Drango into the family just because he was so, he has done so much for us. It's just cool to breed him with a wolf. <laughs> That's kind of weird. Now Drango has already rep replenished, which is very nice. Ah, uh, they have a proper general outside. An order. I will only this is just a rebel general. Now, let's see what we were doing last time. Captain Eldekar is heading down to Ossuri. Oh yeah, we have most of our troops here still. Breland. Yeah. Could really, uh, could really hit Bree. Like, they're going to give us so much money. But I definitely want to get Anuminas as as quickly as possible it's their capital at this point we have loads of money now i'm thinking about actually getting a great hall just to have a little bit more we already have only three upkeep i want a bit more let's get a great hall over here in kamethbrin we can get the communal farming Get this place up. Let's get some units here as well. Let's just place them in the forts. We can also recruit here actually. It would be rather useful to have a Hillman camp here. But it was very expensive. Let's actually focus on some economy buildings. This is fine. Yeah, they're just fine. They're not outstandingly good. Now if you are going to work as a garrison against Gundabad, definitely need some more upkeep here as well. However, let's get up some more, um, yeah, some more population growth. I'm actually going to go for the temple, it's a bit cheaper. However, we can build the irrigation after this one, so I'm going to go for this one. Yeah, okay, we should have a governor here. We could probably make a lot of money. No fool, send your Alright, so the Witch King, yeah, we're definitely sending him to the front. The Dwarves of Eldrun is still idle for now. But we can recruit lots of units here in one turn. So that will be no problem. Um, uh, yeah, let's probably go for the garrison quarters. Yeah, we're all building stuff here. Just want this to be a major recruitment center in a while. Be gone. Now, what shall we do over on this front? I'm not quite certain. Yes. 
We do need more reinforcements and we don't really have any reinforcements at all. We have these guys though, that's Are nice. Your will, my lord. My lord. Orders. Your will, my lord. Yes. My lord. Yeah, it's your will, my lord. Can just abandon these troops, kind of. I guess these spikes can actually still be useful. But we have way too few troops here. Can't recruit anything here. Not here either. We're getting uh, we're getting troops in Kamathbrin. We're getting two more war units here. Here as well. Yeah, we'll be fine. Just going to take a little while. But what can we do about do about Drango for the meantime? And these guys will certainly attack him. But I really want him to be able to aid over here as well. Um, I, th I think I'm just going to send him here. We'll be able to get him back almost in time. I'm going to move him a little bit more to the west for next turn. Here we can just wait at the moment. We do have some troops here at least, but we just want them to be able to defend themselves properly. Oh, the Dun Landing actually holds Mengalin. Wow, they have expanded really rapidly. And Mengalin we definitely want. There we can recruit a lot of the Barrowite to see all of these barrows. I respect you. I'm gonna oh, they're actually fighting these guys off now. It looks like the Northern Dune Line is kind of fucked. They have a region up here though. But if we take it, we are going to bother towards of El Luin, but we will anyways. But I'm, I'm thinking about heading for Anuminas now. Actually going to be able to hold right there. Let's wait one more turn until we got all of these guys. Yeah, that was this turn. Let's just go. Oh, they now Breland has decided to attack us as well. It is indeed war now. I really want to be able to def defend Denman's Dyke properly because they're going to get a lot of garrison troops. Like if they hold the city. And it's going to be very costly to take it again and again. At least we'll be able to bring all our units to one front now. But now as Breland has attacked us, we might just want to go for Bree instead. And then bring down Anuminas right after, I think. Now, I'm very grateful for all the positive feedback I have gotten lately. It's keeping me motivated and inspired. And we're getting a lot of comments. And I, I just love it. Thank you guys so much. Alright, in Fenastunin, we can finally recruit some wargs. That's going to be much needed. Still going to be a quite a while though. Let's get a town guard over here. Need more units. Relationship with mother is improved. Yeah, let's get this one as well. Orders. It was a little breed that started attacking us, yeah. Alright, let's move all of these troops out. I actually forgot to move the Witch King, I just realized. Move. That's a mistake, definitely. As you wish. Yes. Come and get me, you they actually got some John men, Boundless Arches, Farman. They got only trash, but they have Nimrod down to assist. And, me, and we only got trash here. An Alright, Drag will have to yes. do what he can. It's going to be a. It's going to be an unsure situation. Oh yeah, it's nice that the Dunlanings are bringing down these rebel generals. Now I think we're just going to head straight for Bree now. 
and then then we'll at least have our settlements aligned properly. That's going to help a lot. Uh, all right. Actually, Agendar, you're going to leave Sami. You're going to stay in the fort. This is a nice force, and I think these guys will probably sell out. They got a lot of their family inside this settlement, though. And the Breland bodyguards are not to be—they're not to be underestimated. These guys will be able to aid in not too long. Should be fine. We could probably have waited one more turn off when I think about it. Let's get some more healing out of here. Now we might want to get that cat bolt soon. It would be useful against the dwarves. So I'm going to save up for a ballista maker. Yeah, let's do it. The witch king should probably help over here or he should go over here. I'm not certain yet. We'll see. Uh, these guys could very easily rebel, but we do have a uh, Hun one. But I'm I'm glad that the landings are here. Let's see if they are actually at war with anyone. A little bit of ice and goblins. Yeah, there are at least enemies with Bree, so that's going to help us. Yeah, as soon as we have brought down Bree, I definitely think we should just head out for Gundabad. Just make some action. Oh, they are actually selling out. This is going to be an interesting battle. Councilman Andy. He has got some Dundan Wardens and he got two generals. He got, yeah, the Brilliant Bodyguards. The Johnmen are a crossbow unit, but their missile attack is five, so they're very bad. They got some cavalry, though. That's going to be a pain. Greenway Spearman. Yeah, let's uh, let's. We haven't seen any of the Breland units in any of my campaigns yet, so that's going to be interesting. So we're going to play this on camera. So I'll see you on the battlefield. All right, we're here. Now th these are the units of the Breland. So let's take a look at them. I don't. I've never played the Breland faction actually. Uh, Johnmen are a new unit, I believe, which are crossbowmen, or they were priorly. Uh, Javis, I'm not quite sure, sure to be honest, but there are effective against armor, so they they have some value, even though their missile attack is very low, and they have pretty poor defense as well. Greenway Spearmen, these guys looks to have a nice defense stat, and their skill against mounts, that's nice, but uh, their attack and charge is pretty poor. Now the Breland bodyguards, they are actually a very good unit. Uh, they are effective uh, against armor, so they can be a really strong unit. Uh, however, they have a huge armor stat, so we're just going to use our wards with Javis to bring them down. And then it should be alright, but they're definitely a threat. But we don't have a lot of armored units, so it's not really a big deal. Do down wardens we have seen before. And then they have some bandits, some merchant militia. While well, these guys have also have a lot of armor uh, and defense. We're just going to use uh, our Javis against uh, the bodyguards and the Mercy Militia. We're going to see the cavalry not too long as well. Uh, you guys can just start firing, I think. Uh, actually, I want you to kind of hit some of these units. Yeah, the Journeyman, for example. Crossbowman can be devastating to... Oh, jeez. Okay, let's just hit the Mercy Militia as much as we can. It's going to shred them apart. Let's just hope that these crossbow don't bring us down too much. Let's see how much they bring us down. Okay, these guys are now interrupting them. They actually took quite a few losses. I 
I think we're going to wait, want to wait with these works. This gentleman did some major damage on us. Let's use our Angmarine Arches against the Dundal ones. You guys are supposed to run. You guys are doing fine. Just pursue this cab. You can actually stand like this and just give these merchant militia some a nice welcome. Uh, this merchant uh, cavalry is going to slaughter our hillmen if they do not charge in between the pikes. Oh, the greenway riders as well. Okay, let's get the Breland bodyguards and the merchant militia as much as we can. These guys are taking the German now. I think we should try to flank. Yeah, these guys are getting slaughtered. I've already spent all the Javis. Okay, let's get these guys out. These um, gentlemen are going to be a pain in the ass. I completely forgot about these guys. That was a mistake. That was poorly managed by me. Let's see where these guys are. Yeah, get them over here. Alright, hit these... Uh, no, you gotta wait a little bit. Let the these guys, yeah, way, let charge the these guys and you guys go and try to flank the bodyguards. The bodyguards are pretty low in numbers, so that shouldn't be too hard. Now, Agadar, we definitely need to use him in this battle and the cavalry as well. We've been a bit too idle with these guys. Oh, and these guys now got charged. Mistake indeed. I flank the brilliant bodyguards. I don't know how well this this guy seems to be doing very good. Let's get him out. You guys charge the gentleman now. You use the ability. Just get out of there. Don't even care if the archers go. Archers really suck to be honest. We almost have no ammo either. That's a nice charge. Now hit the bandits, just route them. So we can completely surround these guys. These guys are much faster than us. It's a bit sad just looking at this. Oh no. Alright, I can now charge these buggers. The battle is very much in our favor. Will be Let's hope uh, Agendari is able to catch them. Yeah, nice. That worked out. Let's just keep charging these guys. Now uh, you guys should go out Gargo and just charge straight into these people. Oh no, they're coming for us. Let's get them out of here. I don't know what you are doing. They have lost half their men. Charging into doing that once isn't the best idea, but they're getting some solid charges, so it's alright. Should be able to route these guys fairly quickly, but it's just they have two generals. But usually you're going to be able to crush uh, Bree. This army wasn't really that strong, though. Um, I mean, the army we have. And I did some poor mistakes with the cavalry and such. These brilliant bodyguards are now running. Let's give these guys another charge. You guys just charge something. Yeah, the bandits aren't really routing at all. Agendar is freed up. That! Is a nice chance. Finally, they are routing. Now, these guys will probably route as well. I can hit these buggers. You guys run over here. You as well get out of there. Uh, the Greenway Spearman could probably. Drogo, that's not the faction here. You guys are going to charge the Greenway Spearman. I can now easily deal with these buggers. I 
actually that would be a very nice charge in the rear of these Brilliant bodyguards. These guys have like small maces or hammers I believe. Yeah they do. That's why they're armor piercing. But they can get completely obliterated with a nice charge from these wars. Wow, this human unit was completely devastated. That's another nice charge. Ah, I wanted to hit the Green West Spearman. Or you guys should probably hit the Green West Spearman. Let's just run them straight through. I guess you guys could go for a quick charge as well. It won't really hurt. Nice. Alright, let's get the math there. Definitely don't want to charge cavalry straight into spearmen. It's alright. If they are occupied and such. It isn't too much of a worry. Now that cavalry unit is still fighting on. You guys get out of there. Let's just speed this up a little bit. These guys out of the way. Again, the can bring him down himself. Alright. I think Council Man and is trying to escape. I'm not going to let him escape. There he is. Council Man and such a stupid name. <laughs> there he goes. Beautiful. Temple Watch in the background. We took half our army with us though. That was a hard battle. Is utterly vanquished. Let we got this day. Yeah, like 100, it as the day 100 people healed at least. We just don't have the recruitment center set up here just yet because we pushed so quickly. But getting the Witch King down here, we can almost fight with only generals, even though we're only allowed one general per army. We can still bring them down quite easily. Now as the Dunlendings are also fighting off Breland, it shouldn't be too much of a worry. But my lord. Ah! <laughs> they just Such gave us 6,000 for Andy. That's definitely worth it. Oh, that must like I should probably. Oh yeah, I'm. I'm just letting it run. Oh, they actually sent out the reinforcements. Now we're going to be able to to defend them and strike properly. You can just swipe in with Drangu. Now Agindar, the witch, witch king should probably lead this army by now, instead of turn. They ask for an alliance, but they hold Mangalan, so I'm just going to do trade rights for now. We do already have trade rights. Oh yeah. Very well. It was just a suggestion. I I honestly want to take down the Dun Landings. Even though they are akin to us, I just want to spice this campaign up a little bit. It has not been the challenge we wanted at all. So if we attack the Dun Landings and Gundabad, it's going to be a whole other situation. Which king is not far off now? Yeah, I can't them burn it. Such a pathetic army. Mission failed. What kind of army are they bringing up? Some cell swords. That's that's dangerous. These guys are utterly. Yeah, they have very few men left. I am neither your concern, my lord. Let's just bring up a spy. Just make sure they don't have any hidden troops. An order. We can actually bring these guys over here though, but I think yes. I rather want to wait a little bit with that. Victory. Now these guys are going to stay in the fort for one turn. I can now start we sieging out Bree. Them, Besieging the coward, my lord. And we need to send troops as sap. But where do we have any troops? We don't really have any troops coming at all, that's a worry. We should send these guys out now. By your command. 
as you wish. March to exhaustion. Continue. And we have these wars, of course. Now let's get the town guard here. No sleeping here. By your command. Well, yes. Jango is going to take out Bernie. Let's just spend some money first. Condom, we are just building. Oh yeah, we're getting the armor. That's very cool. Ansul, we're building stuff. Litash, we can build something. Yeah, the ballista maker. Let's get the ballista maker. I want some cap catapult action. Morathar. this. We're building stuff almost everywhere. We can get some more units here though, just to have as a just like free upkeep and such. Just as a garrison. They're doing, doing fine. Also, oh, we can get the Hillman camp over here. Definitely this one and then that one. All right. Demon Stike. All right, let's get a temple. Drango. Yes. Slaughter is better. Moving to crush the enemy. Okay, I'll fight this battle of camera. Like, I can show the stats for the Banderous Archers just now. They have like... 5 armor, 9 defense, 6 melee attack, 3 missile attack. Yeah, they're just completely trash. And then we have the Merchant Cavalry, which we didn't take a look at. They had actually 13 armor. Which is quite surprising. Or not really, they are an armored horse man unit. So just bringing some crossbow bolts and these guys will fall like flies or javis. Like one javelin volley can bring down half the unit. No, not kidding. All right, I'll just fight this off and I'll be right back. And I found a serious charges. I just want to show the witch knights. I don't believe we have seen them on the battlefield just yet. They have real cool textures. And let's take a look at their stats. 29 defense, 10 attack. That's pretty decent. Uh, almost all their armor or half their armor comes from a, um, all, half their defense comes from the armor though so just make sure you don't throw them up against heavy armored dwarves where armor piercing dwarves I really mean, meant now ah, we're crushing them though uh, so I'll see you right up there they go now the merchant cavalry is actually quite decent I found out because of their high armor stat it's Pretty hard to bring them down if you don't have an armor piercing in it. So I think if you're playing as Bree, that could potentially be a very strong unit for you. Like I, I said, I haven't really played with Bree before, but I believe that unit really looks like it has some great potential. So certainly try to, if you're playing a Bree campaign now, just try to use your Merchant Cavalry. There we go, Demon Stark is well defended. Continue expands, beautiful. They're bringing more units. Now it depends, I am kind of... Yeah, I think we're going to have Durango inside the Ristam 4. In instead, I mean. I started speaking Norwegian there, actually. <laughs> that was quite cool. Now... We need more troops, let's just get them streaming. Stream them out. Let's uh, build, so actually we can just get some of these guys and, oh, we can't really recruit in a long time. Uh, let's yes, get these guys south as well. Yeah, this is the fastest way. Then we of course have these guys. Can recruit even more here? No, gotta wait a little bit longer. I think we have spent all the money we can this turn. Afanasir, you should go to this fort. Which king you will head out with these buggers? Not the buggers. These guys might actually not be able to come forth to the next turn. Yeah, I think they're actually going to be fine. You have to send out um, Witch King over here. Probably swap him with Agendauer. Alright, let's end the turn. Let's see what it brings us. Oh, they are attacking us. This could be. Potentially very good. Yeah, it's definitely good. Captain Walt with his trash army. Oh, he actually got the gatekeepers. They're not trash at all. This is one of the best crossbow units in the game. Or at least they used to be. 
the skill against mount, so they're effective against armor. And they have halberds when they drop their crossbows, and they're just general. Wow, that could potentially be a threat. And they have councilman. Oh, geez, they actually have two units of these gatekeepers. This is going to be a hard battle. We do still have some cavalry, but they outnumber us. But a lot of their units are just archers, and it's generally trash, even though they got a couple of good units here also. I think we're going to be fine, but it's going to be a hard battle, definitely. But if we can take out Bree in this turn, that's just going to be excellent. So, um, I will see you on the battlefield. Alright, we actually misplaced our archers, and they're all the way over here. And these guys are going to be able to kind of... I think they're going to be able to take them out. But... These guys are coming in from here, so we're just going to try to bring these guys down as quickly as we can. This is the easiest army to deal with. We don't have a lot of archers. We just need to be very... Yeah, let's just bring these guys over here immediately. These two will deal with these guys. And this army is coming, but we can still we still have some time. These guys can't hit us, so let's hit the Breland bodyguards. Wait, how much armor do these guys have? They do not have much armor, yeah. Right, so let's hit the Breland bodyguards, that's going to be perfect. You guys are going to hit these guys. Our foes appear to be gaining the upper hand in this is perfect. Now let's just bring them a little bit. Oh jeez, the gatekeepers are already here. Let's bring these guys out of here. They're going to be crushed by these gatekeepers. There's no doubt about it. They're probably going to get in a lot of kills now. That's a huge mistake. Yeah, we were able to run them out of there at least. But the gatekeepers are such a deadly unit. These guys are about to be cap captured as well. Okay, let's uh, just make them go into here with their units. You guys take them. Let's hope they can be tempted into attacking these guys with... Uh, with their cavalry. And you guys should probably... Yeah, these guys are trying to... Actually trying to go over there. We could quite easily surround these guys. Now, hit the gatekeepers. Even though that's going to be quite a suicide. Now, I think we need to try to surround the gatekeepers as quickly as we can. Let's give these guys a charge. Nice, alright. Yeah, these guys are already occupied. Let's just run them out of there. You guys also need... Yeah. Now I'll get you guys out of here. You guys are going to take them from this side. And you are going to charge them in the back. Simultane or actually you're just going to fire... Um, Javi system, yeah, they have a lot of armor. We're going to take advantage of this. Now, just hit these guys. Brilliant bodyguards. Yeah, a bit chaos over here right now. Actually, I think we should just, yeah, just keep running. You guys as well need to send in Javis over here. The merchant militia is also coming over. Let's get you guys down here as well. It's a bit risky uh, dividing our forces like this, but it could very much work as well. It's kind of a bet, and we just need a bet at this moment. Oh, these guys weren't in guard mode, that's such a bummer. Now I'll stay in guard mode for now. You guys just hit the arch militia. I can now go over here. We're going to sacrifice a lot of units in this battle. It will just have to be. Now you guys are going to hit the gatekeepers with Javis as many as you can. You should be able to inflict some damage. Just spend all your Javis and then start hitting units. These gatekeepers are coming though. Let's try to keep them occupied with this small unit. Actually these guys can do it. You guys can stand right, right here and just hit these guys in the back. This is definitely a good strategy though. Agendawa should flank these units, just get them out of the way. These bandits are stuck here for now. You guys stand like this. And make their archers just target you. Ok, 
Okay, these guys are a bit. Let's get them out again and send them in once again. Okay, these guys are out of ammo now. Let's try to hit the brilliant bodyguards. And just get a proper charge right here. That looked like a nice shot. They have a lot of uh, armor though. Alright. Real militia. Perfect the job for Agendar. You guys charge this Greenway Spearman. You charge the. Or you just stay in guard mode for now. Let's use our ability. And we definitely need to use these guys now. Even though charging into Breelan or Gatekeepers is a very stupid idea with cavalry. We're going to yeah, we're going to go for another target, definitely. These guys have these halberds which just wrecks our cavalry. These guys are trying to charge the cavalry now. Oh. This battle is a bit of a mess. But I think it's going to work out in the end. Now hit the Brill militia in the back. They seem to be kind of afraid of Agendar. And if we can just bring in the works and make them rot, we have one extra unit we can use. Which we definitely need at this point. Oh, and these guys hit Agendar. That's a perfect uh, target for these guys. Uh, very bad for us. Oh, they are routing. Excellent. Now Agendar, you go and take out some some kind of unit and you works hit the screenway spearman this is really chaos go hit the gatekeepers now the gatekeepers are at least surrounded over here there we go perfect charge i can't even see how yeah they're completely devastated now you pikes definitely need it over here run 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 i can now probably get yeah he's going to get devastated on his way over there just have to take it. He will get a nice charge off. That's going to slaughter these units. There we go. Nice charges. Very nice charge. I just hit these guys to keep them occupied. You're going to hit these guys in the back. Keep just pushing these guys. Now let's see what a side charge can do. Yeah, it's not really that effective. Did lose some though, but they're going to get sh shrekt, to be honest. We definitely want to capture those guys. We want to capture Bree. That's going to be our main priority. We are going to win the battle nonetheless, I'm quite certain. Now hit this lumberman in the back. It's an even battle though. But these gatekeepers should go down. They are surrounded. Agendar should be able to bring these guys down as well. These guys could probably get a better kind of angle. Let's bring them over there. And hit these guys straight into the side. Okay, you guys are needed back on this front. Hit the gatekeepers over here. Oh, these Breland bodyguards are actually a pain as well. They're completely surrounding Algendar. And Algendar is safe for the meantime though. That's very important. That looked like a very good charge. These wooden hunters though, they might be inflicting some damage on Agadar. Let's get them off the field. Oh, these guys are starting to run. That's very nice. Now, you, you need to take the gatekeepers. Don't... Do not care about those guys. Oh yeah, the lumbermen are getting slaughtered as well. Now we're getting a nice charge in on these wooden hunters. The battle seems to be swinging in our favor. There we go. Agendar getting some nice charges in. These guys are now... Yeah, they're, they're dying, guys. They're dying. You guys just go and take some of these guys. We can go over here, probably. Where is these... Yeah, these three... Two units... Now get the, get the fuck back. Sorry, I was not supposed to say that. Now you get these guys. 
You need to surround these guys over here, gatekeepers. You need to bring down their faction leader and heir in the same battle. That's definitely going to taste good. Now there's only one guy left here. I don't know if this is Barleyman or the other, other army. I believe actually it is Barleyman. These guys, I just keep running. You guys soon have captured enough. Yeah. Guys, remember always capture um, as many as you can. You get money and you can ransom them. You can execute them, whatever. And you will keep them not getting back into the city. Which means you will uh, capture the city and don't have to wait. Because they will get these. The Rati troops will go inside the city again, in many cases, then you want to capture the city. Now with the pikemen in the back, these guys are going to suffer very badly. Good tidings. And there one goes, I believe that is Councilman Andy, and then we have Captain Walt, now it's only um, Baliman left, these gatekeepers are actually routing, I don't know if the general is in that unit, that we'll have to experience, no, he wasn't there. Now these guys are 32, so they're going to get inside the city if they escape. Ah, oh, here is ba Baleman. And he goes, no, that was cancel. Oh, it's, it's kind of bugged. It said con Councilman Andy twice. I don't know what that bug is. That was really weird. But we're just going to capture these last units. Uh, wow. They are very far though. I don't think we're going to be able to capture them. But we might get the city because we killed both their generals. We'll have to see about it. Uh, what is this kind of unit? Alright, let's just end the battle there. 518 lost. 1200 plus killed. 270. 231 with the Hillman. That's surprising. Wow, good job. They probably met a unit they could withstand in melee, but what that unit was, was it, it had to be like bandits or something. That's the only unit they are better than. I don't even know if they are better than bandits. Now Breeze should be ours, or they could potentially have one small unit inside, which would be devastating. for Because we really lost a lot of units in that battle. But yeah, it looks like we're going to get it. Oh wow, they actually... <laughs> Breland got... They got extinct because of uh, all their family members died. <laughs> wow. This is so stupid. This campaign, guys. <laughs> I have no words. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, well, I guess that's kind of funny. <laughs> it... It just looked like it was like they got extinct. I'm not certain, but it really looks like. And when we have, it's just rebels. Yeah, and now they suddenly get a garrison because of this. That's so stupid. And we don't have the troops to take them out. We would have captured Bree, but they actually got extinct. So we won't get it. Which is just so stupid. Brelan is gone. We just need to actually bring down the Northern Dune Lion. And we have already won the campaign by like turn 47 I believe. Hold 40 regions. regions. Yeah we just have to. <laughs> we just have to bring down Northern Dune Lion. But we probably have to hold a lot more regions. Yeah we only hold 13. But that's just so stupid. I really want to get Bree though, it's a real money maker. Breed and destroyed. Wow. An 
order. My lord. Approaching Who holds this land? This land isn't even taken. Approaching oh yeah, of course they rebelled. These guys are coming. We'll, we'll be able to hold them back. This guy as well. Dwarves still not coming. These guys are just headed down. Now I'll let the Witch King take this settlement down in one turn. He will be able with this cavalry to bring it down. Agendar. Main battle. Yeah, let's just send. Let's keep the pikemen and these archers and these guys, I suppose. In this army, I guess we could just take all of these guys. These guys we can get rid of. And Agadar just head up to this fort. Oh no. Let's hope he escapes that. This is so stupid if he, if he died of that reason. I can't really believe Breland got killed off so easily. That was almost that was just pathetic. Need more troops. Let's get these guys. Your will, my lord. By your orders. As you wish, my lord. We can go no further. Your will, my lord. We have more units here as well. Let's just will, Yeah, we as could just wish. send them down here. Later. Getting the mines. Let's get one more unit. Wait a little bit with attacking him, just having him there for now. It's fine. Now just build everywhere. I think we are in most places. Yeah, Ballista Maker, I guess we could have another one of those. Actually, a port would be quite cool just to have it. And it will also bring the population growth up. It's a nice building, definitely. Okay, that's that turn. Let's see if we can get some Witch King that back in, uh, in this, um, this episode. We are almost at the end, but I just want to see the Witch King slaughter someone. Want to see the bodyguard of the Witch King? I can't believe that bug actually made it. Or we did we did bring down Breland, but the town rebelled, or they got rebels in them just because the faction was destroyed and then we didn't capture it. Just so stupid. But we're making solid money now, guys. <laughs> We don't really have any trouble, so I suppose we should attack uh, good and the bad soon. However, it would be interesting to wait for the late game units as well. Uh, to be honest, I don't like Angmar's roster is very interesting, but we have a lot of trash, which is annoying. Yeah, we'll get one thousand five hundred for capturing Bree. An order. Yeah, are they going to attack us now? I don't know. We could bring out a little bit more of these units just to make sure we actually capture this place. Ligue 1 in Ladris, it's cool to have them there though. Let's get these guys just up to Denon's Dyke. And Agendau, you go to. Just take this fort. Ah, Dwarves of Kazadum and Goblins of Mora, that would only favor us. Barkelegg and Angsul, okay. Angsul, you're building stuff. Barkelegg, not building stuff. Fine in this manner. Yeah, we definitely need to get more troops out of here. Let's get the Hillman camp and then the war camp. And now finally these troops are starting to move down. As you command. Let's just attack Bree. Besieging the coward, my lord. I will only be God. Your will, my lord. Orders. By your command. Your will, my lord. 
Now we're just sending all our units to... Yes. Not possible. Let's just have these guys sieging. They might the sell out. Let's just send all our units towards uh, Anuminas and bring down Nondundai. And Eredor is basically ours then. Then we can start attacking the Dun landings. And from there a lot can happen. My lord, your will, my lord. Uh, let's send these guys over here as well. Let's just end the turn once again. Hobbiton is completely... Oh, we definitely want to bring down those settlements. They're so wealthy. And we can field some real Iron Crown units when the Barrack went hit. Now we should probably even start preparing an, a large army for the Dwarves. We just want to get as much army piercing units as possible. And some Pikes. And the warg, uh, the wargs are going to be very useful against the dwarves because they don't really have cavalry or archers, and warg skirmishers like they're going to be a crushing unit against the dwarves. Just sending all their javis and then charging uh, in the back of those units. It's going to be very useful. Yeah, they're selling out. We're going to see the witch king, boys. Beautiful. All right, this is going to be the last that happens in this episode. So I'll see you on the battlefield. And we're going to see the Witch King of Angmar. Here he is, boys. The Witch King himself has returned to the north. And he's ready to lead the legions of Angmar. Now, let's just bring these guys over here. Now, these pikemen could probably just hold over here. Let's just bring them over here. Now, the first thing we want to do is get a proper charge with the Witch King. We should probably wait a little bit, though. These guys could potentially... Oh yeah, we need these guys over here actually. Now, let's just take a little look at the capital of Breland. This is a very really nice settlement in my opinion. It's very different from the others we have in the game. If I remember correctly, I only fought in this settlement one time before with Isengard. Alright, that's interesting. Now, just let's t take a charge with the Witch King and just see how it does. You know what? Uh, let's just bring all of these guys. Over here, uh, these guys are. Right. Oh, yeah, and the second unit is these. Okay, these guys are supposed to go sit together, and you guys will just stand here for now. It's just going to be fun to see how much the, uh, damage the Witch King can do on him with himself. This ability is very good as well. Oh, jeez, this is a powerful unit, boys. These are just like the Black Numenorian Cavalry, to be honest. I just get him out. Yeah, they immediately routed the Witch King himself. Although, you don't want to lose the Witch King as Angmar, because he will not replenish, I've heard. Uh, so, you want to make sure you don't lose him to a stupid battle. And thinking, ah, he will respawn. But he won't. Let's use the Terror of the Witch King. And they're all in fighting. Just slaughtering units. This is a very powerful unit. Let's take a look at their stats. 23 top defense, 11 attack. And this is for a cavalry unit, boys. They're effective against the armor even. That's wow. They have a lot of, yeah, a lot of their defense comes from the armor. So if you are destined to face this opponent, definitely use some... Um, definitely use some um, crossbow bolts. And they're going to... This unit is going to fall to crossbow bolts. Is this the Witch King himself? No. No. We're just going to use the Witch King all along and see how much damage he can do. I think you guys enjoy that. Alright. He's getting a bit targeted with these arrows. Now let's get these guys a proper charge. Show him, show them what we think of their arrows. Oh yeah, this is a slaughter! All of the troops are just magic harping. That's the term I use for the units, which is just flying in the air. And he's already gotten a lot of experience. We're probably going to get so much experience. Ah, oh, the cell swords are coming. Now uh, you guys definitely want to hit the cell swords. Let's hit another charge. Yeah, 
they're just utterly slaughtering these units. Now let's get them and see how they will perform in a charge against a proper unit. Alright, these guys just target these ones. And the Witch King himself. Now we'll bring down these cell swords over here. Liga 1 in Mladis, you're going up a very large, very, very large unit. But you're going to get, we're going to charge these guys in the back once they charge in. Now look at what the Witch King will do to these guys. Oh, I'm just going to use the Witch King in all the battles I can for now. They're so powerful. You guys hit the Cell Swords. Witch King just run out of there. I don't want to get charged. Now I want to give the Cell Swords a charge as well. Now let's get these. Let's see what they can do against a proper unit. Now we don't really have a real good angle on these guys. Should still be quite nice. Yeah, wow. They are the so are powerful. They have lost half their men. Of these guys. You just charge these bandits and just get them off the field. Don't even care about. There you go. We are a cavalry nation now, boys, with the Witch King. Now charge the Celsius again. Charge these guys. Alright, we're not going to get a proper charge when they're faced the other way around. But I think the Celsius have very much armor. Yeah, they do, so they're going to be slaughtered by the Witch King. Uh, if we get a proper charge in. But we want them to face us. Alright, you guys hit these bandits. Cell swords are broken. And routing. Alright, now we're going to get another charge. Let's see how they perform now. Yeah, they're utterly slaughtering a strong unit. Like these guys. This ability just causes all units to just freeze. And it's working very well. Except for the general and certain units. And the Witch King's unit will of course replenish, so it's incredibly OP. And this is the reason why Mordor is such an easy faction to play as. You don't really have to do anything at all. Because you have the Witch King and you have plenty of other Nazgul generals. But yeah, he is amazing. I love this unit. Where is the Witch King? Ah, there the general goes at least. See if I... There is the Witch King himself. Not even blooded up. Building is captured. Now these guys... Just get these boys off the map, shall we? There we go. I should have checked the kills. I clicked a little bit too faster. But I think I stated our point. The Witch King himself is incredibly OP. He could probably even charge into dwarves and get lots of kills. I have tried charging them into Gundabad Guard before. Uh, or Hammers of Gundabad, I mean. Uh, the Dwarven Elite Unit. But not Witch King's Bodyguard, but just, just the... Um, the unit itself in in custom battle just to test them out but they were able to bring the, uh, down a lot of the units but they they were slaughtered off all right we hold Bree now the witch king had really really shown himself well wow, let's look at the buildings there's smiles prancing pony that's cool global effect we're making 10,000 a turn and we just got our mission success Let's get this one. And we're going to take down the Dun Landings not too long. Yes. Now let's just um, try to gather as many troops as we can over here. Construction, alright, I'm going to go over and build all of these buildings. 
I'm probably going to do that off camera though. It's mostly in the early game that these buildings are really important. At this point it's more like just like choosing your needs and just building what uh, is best in this certain situation. Like what we build here doesn't really matter. We can build the mason hall just to have it for later I suppose. We can get some, yeah, let's get some hillmen here perhaps, just to be able to recruit more. We definitely need to start recruiting lots of more units all around the place. Let's get the large hall as well. I want to have a lot of free upkeep in this place. Then we can defend it easily if we decide to backstab the goblins of Moria. Thilden, we can't even build anything. Also, we're already building stuff. Nokwaragla, Shadun. Back a leg. Yeah, we have already checked out these places. The mistake as well. Uh, what I will do though is uh, uh, these guys we have them now. Right, let's get the Witch King here. Yeah, this is a very strong army. I don't want to bring them down just yet. I definitely do want to hit the Dune down first. And let's go for Hobbiton. It's completely empty. Wow. All right, Witch King, you have a new, you have a new mission here. Moving to crush the enemy. We're going to take down Hobbiton by with just Witch King himself. You guys are going to follow though, just to be be there in case. Dunlinux could very much backstab us at any point. Let's just send these guys over here. These guys are going down here. What we should do is recruit as many units as we can everywhere. We simply don't have a lot of units at this point. These guys can are fine though. Let's get uh, some real elites here. Or not elites, but our best troops we can feel at the moment. The dwarves are still not doing anything. I'm thinking about going for this borderland soon. Yeah, you know what? Let's start building up an army for for the borderlands. Ah uh, yeah, we actually have a, but this is more like a preparation army for the dwarves. So I'm just going to, I'm going to buy these mercenaries. That's a new army, mercenary captain, renowned mercenary. Nice. All right, let's bring him to Angsul. We go no further today. We don't have any works to bring with him, I believe. No, I'm just going to recruit everywhere. It will be fine. Alright, but I think that was a very successful episode. We brought down Breland. We're now heading... We're soon heading into... Like, the non Dune is soon wiped off the map. And then we <laughs> just hold the whole of Eredor. And it's not even the barracks event. We've really been speedrunning this uh, kind of uh, uh, campaign. I think we have had a bit of luck as well. We have had skill, of course. We have won all the important battles. We'll see what these guys do, though. I definitely want to attack these guys as soon as we have control over this area. But at the moment, we don't have the troops to keep the pressure up here. It will be fun with this situation, though, which can just bring down Hobbiton completely free. Let's see, yeah, there are actually more settlements here as well. Approaching quietly. We might see the High Elves expanding into here. We could uh, go for the High Elves next, actually. And the blue and the Dwarves of Edelune. That would be a challenge, taking out both of these factions at the same time. I think that's... Instead of going for the turn landing straight away, let's give them some settlement and get them in Galen in return. And then just... A deep hello as well. Another settlement we will be able to bring down easily, it looks like. Alright, but uh, enough talking. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, remember to like and subscribe if you liked our content or my content. And subscribe if you, yeah, if you want. Uh, we're definitely going to play some more campaigns in the future. I have not decided yet, but I'm going to throw up another faction vote. I had decided to go for Gundabad, but on the other hand, I think it's going to be a very easy faction to play. 
I'm also considering playing as a dwarf just for because it's quite fun. But as I said, it's it's hard to choose, so we'll have to do a faction vote, and I'll include a lot of alternatives. But that's it. Thank you guys so so much, and I'll see you guys for the next episode.